Morning guys, um, I am vlogging today. We're on a little road trip um, in the Tom as usual. Um, we're heading up to see his uh, family. They all live in Edwardstow, which is basically Sherwood Forest and Robin Hood country. You can actually see my camera in my sunglasses, so that's good. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're heading up there today. Had a bit of traffic at the Dartford Crossing, but we're through that now. So we're gonna stay there for a couple of nights, um, see the family, and then we're heading off to the Peak District to do a bit of camping, and then down to Nottingham, where I'm meeting up with Kirsty, who you all know. Um, so I thought I would vlog, because um, I'm actually doing something fun for a change. Um, I'll probably speak to you next when we actually get there, because obviously we're just gonna be in the car for a little bit. It's about a three and a half hour drive, we're done an hour and a half maybe, an hour, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, take you along and I'll show you a bit of Robin Hood country. Hi guys, so we made it to Edwin's Day. Um, we're just with um, Nan and Grandad and the view from the garden is like this. Normally there's not that many cars, it's just because the festival's on at the moment. But that is the view from their garden, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, we're just having a drink with them, having a catch up, and then we're gonna head out to meet the rest of the farm. I'll show you everyone. So we've got Grandad, Nan and Grandad there. Yeah. And wave. And then there's Tom, obviously. You all know Tom. So yeah, I we're just. Know. I'm sure they know him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just um, having a catch up, and then we are going to go and head down the pub and meet some more of the family. So I'll speak to you in a bit. Edwin Stowe, guys. <laughs> so low and, and turns around thank you very much we're also very aware when we fly birds of prey of wind direction asking a bird to land short with a strong wind behind it not good the bird has to expend a lot of energy and it's difficult for it to control its wing feathers so asking a bird to come into the wind thank you land on the glove and land on the glove is very very easy not stand next to me, no, closer to me, please. This is my telescopic perch, okay? You're going to, you're both going to be facing Jo down there. She's got Meg. Now, if you look at my perch, Simon, it's way up there. You please stand right in front of him. So you're the shorter one. Now, when when I give Jo the signal, she performed very, very well for me yesterday. Jump, jump. Have a look around at the audience. Yes, everything's safe. Up you go. Wing pumping completely different. Mind the trees! That's a good boy. He's a Jura Saker Falcon. Some people see his name with a G Y R and they think it's pronounced Gaia Falcon. Turn left! Thank you. Now I know why you've got an L plate. But he is pronounced Jura Falcon. Very, very few Jurs, very, very popular with our Arab friends. They're a powerful bird, bigger than our peregrine falcon. Hey! Getting faster, getting faster. Each time he goes up, you notice he's looking over his shoulder. He's trying to outthink this. He's trying to think, where's it going? How is it flying? Mind the trees! Oh, well saved. Up he goes. No, you can't go on the fairground ride. If the sun was shining, a predatory bird might use the sun. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, come on, Gary. You can have it. Ladies and gentlemen, Gannicus, a little falcon! <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, it's Sunday now, um, the 7th of August I think. I've just got some footage of the falcon we just played for you, it's really good, I love the owl. Um, we're walking around, we've seen loads of medieval people dressed up, <laughs> it's really good. Um, I'm just heading back to Nan and Grandad's now for a bit, I think we're going to go out for lunch with them. So go and do that and then we're coming back down here later with the jousting so I'll try and get a bit of footage of that for you as well.
swans and geese and dinghies over there. Such a beautiful area though. It's like not being in England. <laughs> Just absolutely stunning. So yeah, we went and did the jousting earlier. Well, not actually do the jousting, but we saw the jousting earlier. And that was really fun. Um, I was on team Robin Hood and he won, obviously, because he is Robin Hood. Um, and that was re it's really good, actually. There's a lot of people there. Um, but it's been quite a chill day, we've just been hanging out and walking around the forest and stuff. I'm going to try and feed these ducks in a minute, I think I might get attacked by the geese because there's a hell of a lot of them. I'm a bit anxious about that, <laughs> but I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> morning guys it is now monday the 8th of august and we have left edwinstow and we're in the peak district and we're at a place called crackliff i'll show you around it's kind of we're in the up in the hills there's like caves and crags and, and stuff we've just kind of climbed up don't know how much i can show you without tripping over uh there we go we've come from over here take you down guys And there we go, we're kind of up quite high, I don't know how, what you can see, through the trees. But yeah, it's a bit cooler today, it's not quite as hot. But we're heading, um, we're going to actually camp in the Peak District tonight. Um, I can't remember the name of the place, but I will tell you when I get there, because Tom is the hope organise this. So we're just taking a few photos up here, and um, have a bit of a hike, which is why I'm hot and out of breath. <laughs> um, and then we're going to head bit further into the Peak District. We've driven through uh, Matlock this morning which was absolutely a beautiful, beautiful little village. I didn't actually film there, we didn't stop for very long. I wanted to get here and like have a hike and stuff so yeah I will speak to you in a little bit. I'll let you know where we go next. A bit further up now. You can see it for miles here. I don't know if I can zoom in over there is the rock circle. Like a mini Stonehenge. We're just up here by the rocks and I'm here I'm getting a bit scruffy but <laughs> we have been hiking I'm going to do a bit more in a minute I feel like in the middle of nowhere here 
found the cows. I think we're going to have to walk past them in a minute. All down there. But look at the view. Incredible view. We've come to a little place called Bakewell, which is also in the Peak District, and you need to see how beautiful this bridge and river is. Take you over it. It's so gorgeous. He's down there. It's absolutely stunning. Such a beautiful place. You see up the river. Some little geese down there. Absolutely stunning here. On the other side. Just in the middle of nowhere. It's really like a small little town. Reminds me of bake more tarts. I have a lot of baking stuff here. I don't know where my bake more tarts come from here. <laughs> but yeah. So hi guys, we've made it to a place called Horseshoe Quarry and we're actually going to camp here tonight. <laughs> World camping, I've never done it before. But I'll show you kind of where we are. It's an old quarry, so you've got lots of high walls here. People go rock climbing and stuff. This is where we're going to make our fire. Got some firewood over there. And there's our little tent. So yeah, we're just in the middle of the wilderness. Wild camping, first for me. <laughs> Finally got a fire started. Can't really see around, it's getting dark. But yeah, need this to keep warm. Proper wilderness camping. Good morning guys, Tuesday the 9th of August and this is the view I've woken up to. Just climbed up to the top of the quarry. Um, yeah, I didn't have a bad night, so it rained a little bit, but it was in the tent, so it wasn't too bad. And then we wake up to this, it's beautiful. I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. Um, before we head off to Nottingham and meet Kirsty. I thought I'd have to show you this view, because it's just amazing. It's so beautiful. Hey guys, I'm in Nottingham now, I'm joined with Kirsty Barn! Hi! And obviously Tom as well. Um, I had a shower at the hotel, which is the best shower ever after that wild camping. And we are heading out and have a drink and just hang about and catch up. Yay! <laughs> which is really cool. So I'll take you along. Yeah. And we'll let you know what we get up to. <laughs> Check out the bar, guys. It's got a canal running for it. And there's a barge. This is actually a bar. Like the bar's over there. We'll go over the bridge the bar and there is the canal just kind of running through it's really cool I've got a beer which is I'm not quite sure what it's called already I think it's an Indian pale ale I can't really remember it's quite nice though that side looks pretty cool as well I'll show you loads of room out here and we're just sitting here and having a little drink Hey guys, so we've come to a different pub now. We've come to Ye Old Trip to Jerusalem. It's the oldest pub in England from 1189 AD. It's the oldest pub in England and we're doing the most modernist thing of Pokemon <laughs> for me. <laughs> that makes us really, really bad. <laughs> so we come here for a drink and um, so we'd have to check it out because it's a Nottingham and the oldest pub in England, kind of something you have to do. So I'm going to have a drink here before finding the scary golf bar and we're going to make Kirsty find the toilet. If anyone knows about the Pit and Pendulum in Nottingham, you'll know what I mean. Not the golf bar! It's not that bad, it's so well, I don't think it's that bad. We'll see. You better look after me. <laughs> I'll look after you Kirsty, don't worry. So we're going to have these, I'll obviously let you know what it's like in the Pit and Pendulum when we get there. And that's us signing off for now. Guys, we've come to the Pit and Pendulum in Nottingham and look at it, it's so cool. Chris has got like the weirdest looking cocktail ever. I'm gonna stick with beer. Chris my cocktail. It's really cool in here. Finding the toilets in a weird golf bar. They need we need to go this way. Somewhere here. 
Ta da! So we're still in the pen pendulum and we found the jewel box. We played Slipknot. Tom, do you like Slipknot? No. It was Slipknot. Never ever. Thirsty? <laughs> Heritage Anthem. It's a classic tune, babes. Yes. guys it's Wednesday now and we are in the car and we're heading back home so I thought I would just sort of vlog off officially because I'm rubbish at doing that just in the car we've got Kirsty here and obviously Tom's driving um, we're heading back um, there will be some more vlogs to come because I've still got some fun stuff planned this week but for this one this is the end um, I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll speak to you soon bye guys